Oh, it's so lovely to be here again. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. And they are happy to be with you. I can feel them. I have my guides coming in and um, we have Ascended Masters that are here as well. And OK, thank you. And they said, share the image, share the image. I went, OK, fine. So the image, what I have, um, the image that they're giving me is very much they're all standing before you, all being present within your energy, absorbing all your energy. Uh, okay, thank you. Intermingling with each of you. Okay, thank you. The idea when yeah, you set the intention for to be here, to listen to this broadcast, it makes you open and so that you are receiving. Okay, thank you. And they said when you receive this information and this message, you are receiving internally within you as well. Okay, thank you. A bit like healing. So you're sitting here hearing the information within the the bandwidth they just said of the sentences that she speaks for me. Okay, thank you. Um, you will also receive that healing through this message. There's information coming forward. Okay, thank you. Where you set the intention to be here, you're already opening up your energy, um, your auric field, as you some of you might want to call it, your unified energy around you. Uh, you will just pick up this information. Thank you. They said it's a bit like um okay thank you okay they said it's a bit like when you take your car to be serviced you might take your car once a year to be serviced but you need to do that more as the human body they said it needs more servicing servicing as it needs this updated information constantly okay thank you they said some of you will be receiving updated information in your dreams some of you will be receiving that you feel very differently in your dreams uh we have mentioned this before now, some of you will be finding it tricky on your planet at this time. Some of you will be struggling to some degree. Some of you may not have a, a greater understanding of what is and what is to come. And there is no fear here either. So the individual humans that hear this information, however, whatever band wave that you have been operating from before. So possibly see this as um like a, a radio a radio station frequencies uh information that you're picking up you could have been operating from a different level from before um, however you once were but on your planet at this time many of your souls are now becoming more curious and uh, as the human you're going through some of these difficulties and some of you will feel that there is much change within you. Some of you will still be encountering the chaos that you have in your life. Um, the chaos is really to bring everything to the surface so that you then can uh, sift through uh, the debris that you have. The idea is that your soul listens, your soul is aware that there is some chaos going on. Now, there is sometimes this internal conflict with yourselves, with um, your mind sometimes interfering to some degree, as in mm, maybe trying to over process certain bits of information. So, um, OK, there are many of us here um, that are communicating and transmitting this through and uh, vocal cords or voice box so there are many of us that will try to help you to understand this so there is some fluctuating unrest on your planet that you've always gone through this as a planet but more than ever before this has been um, a great opportunity for many of you to open up to learn more about yourselves we love the idea of some will call this the new age um age of aquarius um but it's very much about it's this more of an awareness more it's this time of awareness for you on your planet so some of you will be going through discomfort at this time of you may see things as maybe going wrong in your life um, but that is the how the mindset is but not necessarily that there is stuff going wrong it's just that your soul has requested at this particular time for situations to arise so to come to the surface it's very much like a boil rising up through the the layer of the skin and many of you will 
not like that maybe the explanation but it's 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 more about bringing things to the surface it's about now the time to to really delve deeper within what's what's occurring for you so and this may feel selfish for many of you but it is about your story your soul story on this planet it is more about what you are encountering yes you are having the interactions with the other humans and families and friendships and partnerships on your planet of course you were meant to be here they everyone is meant to be serving each other but it really is more about what is happening and churning up internally within yourself some of you get caught up in relationships partnerships friendships where you're over analyzing maybe what is occurring within a situation what's happening for them maybe forgiving them for whatever reason and this is we're not saying is a bad thing but we are saying but come back to yourself and look at what is arising internally within yourself the reason we say what is rising internally yourself because this is your lesson your teaching not that you've done anything wrong but it is your soul's teaching to find out what it is what is arising uh what is coming up for you why you're feeling this way um, and not so much about oh this person does this to me or uh, this is the way I feel with this individual it's more about not them but more about yourself and to look at what is coming up for you um, so if you are going through this constantly and you're having these situations arising and it is then you become you there is a same uh, mm, uh yes um, some of you use this as in uh emotional triggers that happen that is bringing something back up and this is the perfect solution to then look at if if the similar situation is making you feel a similar way and we would say why would you put yourself into this but we would also say then to look at what is coming up for you is to unfold it to unpick it to look at it not that this we are not saying we must make this clear that we are not saying we understand there are some people there who are say in abusive relationship in a sense and this repeating pattern we're not saying to stay in this uh, relationship where it's repeating patterns we are saying to look at what is trying to show you um how it you are wishing to be treated by uh, another human it would be for you to address this uh, from your perspective not to look at to make the excuses for the other person it is for you to look at yourself and to say what is this showing me what is it that I stubbornly maybe not paying attention to or listening to at this particular time and it is for you to then look at the situation and then it is for you then to move on so some uh, get caught up in over analyzing and your brain goes on and on and on and repeats but it's more about looking at yes this is what this is showing me right now I understand this from that certain level where I'm at my layer of myself this stage of myself I'm learning this is what this is showing me right now and then you then continue to move on if you keep retracting and going back and we know some of you who are listening to this may be in relationships a repeating pattern is happening and you continuously keep going back trying to make it different it's like the rubik's cube if you turn it around you see the different colors the white the red the green the different sides but it's still the rubik's cube it doesn't change shape it's still the rubik's cube and we are saying then place the rubik's cube to one side you, you have learned what you needed to learn now it's time for you to move on but some of you uh stay uh, maybe a little bit too longer your earthling years in your physical earthling self mm, does not have many years on your planet your soul years are very different um when you are we started off by saying about your dreaming but you see the where you are in your life and 
how you are feeling about yourself and your environment you, you have this residue of frequency of energy that you are sending out so it, it, when you are unhappy unhappiness sends out this rhythm of energy uh, when you are happy sad um, depressed however you are feeling internally sends out this ripple of energy out into the energy field around you and you will attract like for like so if you have not learned a lesson or a teaching from a situation maybe from family members you will then uh, maybe learn it or have the opportunity for growth for another situation so it is for the soul to keep developing to moving on <laughs> we would say like ongoing professional development for your soul um but the human with the brain uh you store the information and you try to maybe hold on too tightly to the information and you possibly some of you are thinking um uh, who you are on this planet as the human that you are the person that you are within your job that describes who you are this is who I am and this is also incorrect uh, the role that you play in your family or the role that you play with a partner or friendship uh, it is not to confine you it is to know that you can expand externally uh, from outside of that you don't have to be restricted within a, a relationship a family relationship a partnership um, and so you are many frequencies there are many layers of you that um, is bringing out this into your energy field around you so some of you are creating chaos very much like uh, the ping pong table tennis ball you bounce up against each other and you fire around and you cannot find a place to feel calm um, it is about settling your energy it is about to find where you can find that peace internally within yourself and to keep coming back into you looking at where you are on your journey it is a period of great changes and many of the ping pongs are, are bouncing off each other and creating some chaos uh, sometimes the other ping pong you need to learn from the other ping pong and of course you understand the ping pong is not really the ball but it is your energy and who you are as that individual that you show up on your planet so many of you will be feeling maybe a little bit out of balance on your planet right now and are searching for maybe some guidance and um, we would suggest that the guidance is really internally within you it's activating the conversation with your soul your higher self to be able to communicate to understand where you are um, to ask questions to create the communication and there are many many methods of journaling automatic writing meditation there were many methods for you as the human to sit with this and to have the conversation with your higher self uh, many of you still struggle with this and this is just a teaching a learning uh, many of you start this journey of believing that you are more than what you see and being aware of your energy field and some of you go off and you do the work and you get excited and you connect to source and your energy is flowing and you hear this information and you see the messages and you get excited and some of you get burnt out because you're so excited it's very much like the toddler that discovers the bag of sweeties um, and you can wear yourself out so the idea is just for you to take what you can take and to rest in between. Now, within your dream work, many of you are having those dreams where you may be, um, we say maybe, but many of you are, uh, you are having your physical form resting in your bed and uh, the expansion of yourself or when you allow your dreams to take effect you are um, a, we would say a bit like you would see like you're daydreaming allowing your mind to wander off uh, and your energy uh, becomes open and you tend to travel uh, many of you sort of leaving your 
your internal self and expanding further out within your physical vessel. Uh, some of you are fearful and stay within your home and do not wish to go much further. And some of you are traveling elsewhere. And there are sometimes this intermingling with others within a dream. And uh, sometimes you even have communication with other individuals that are passing by. Um, and you may just see this as a dream. But you, when you dream, this is a whole extension of your energy as it moves in and out of the different dimensions of space and time. There is this, this concept with mankind with building your spacecraft to leave your planet to, to discover elsewhere. You, you don't necessarily need to build aircraft to, to travel, to, to leave. You just work with your soul and you can astral travel and you can learn to extend and to expand. It's just dimensional, which means just moving in and out of time and space. The more as you will develop on your planet, many of you humans will then uh, move in and out of your dimension of time and space and many of you will travel on the astral field by just through your meditation by just learning to meditate to expand yourself fully and to come in and to go out just like your human breath you will be able to move in and out quite freely and be able to expand yourself and then you will be able to travel to wherever it is that you need or to absorb the information, to talk with your ancestors, to intermingle with the ascended masters. Ascended masters just being many teachers that have walked upon your planet before. The difference now compared to how it used to be is that more and more people on your planet are starting to question and to become inquisitive and the more that you become inquisitive the more that you are opening up to the energy and to understanding there is more than what you see the more that you will hear from the ndes as you will call them and those who experience the information the channelers it opens up your mind that there is something else out there for you to discover this is just like flight school, which is trying to help you to navigate your way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm, I'm listening to them. I've heard the information they said. And... Uh, okay i will do my best um to see what else there is <laughs> okay thank you as i'm talking to you i'm um, i can feel different energies moving in, in in and out um and they're inquisitive about yourselves too okay thank you um okay so now my regular guides as i work as a, a psychic medium are coming in that was real channeling in my ascended masters um when i began uh today and i sat um before this conversation before this transmission thank you i was shuffling some cards and i i was shuffling some um animal cards and we have the swan and we have the armadillo and i asked them for the information and what it was showing me um and i think what they were picking up was also very similar to what they were channeling um the swan spirit it says about it's time to deep dive so deep diving very going in in looking at who you are right now looking at was going to nourish you was going to help you at this particular time so okay thank you another thing they were saying to me early was that um some of you who are um becoming aware um we sort of say spiritual awakening spiritual awareness i would just say awakening and awareness those who you are becoming aware of an energy and opening up now and becoming aware of all this can be a little bit um 
make you might might some of you might feel a little bit out of balance right now because there's a lot of different people who are sort of waking up to the fact that there is more than what we see who are questioning that they are deep diving thank you so you might feel this on the planet right now there's a lot of people energies thank you they just said it's a bit like when you walk into a room if there's someone's had an argument or there's sadness or happiness you're going to feel the vibration from that room you've got to imagine the planet right now it's a bigger room so some of you who are empaths intuitive um, starting to work with your psychic abilities may feel a little bit all over the place um, I've been doing this for years and at times recently I've been feeling a bit over the place because there's more and more people who are uh, becoming more open to possibilities um, thank you um, my guides are sort of laughing uh, when I connect as a psychic medium I always sort of say it's a bit like I the clients I've worked with sometimes it feels like I've getting an um a message in my inbox like the in in mail uh, mailbox and then i'm next thing i know they've contacted me or they've booked a session or whatever it is but i can feel their energy so and that's when i'm you know i might be busy doing something else I'm like oh okay they've just popped in so i'm feeling that and i know a lot of other channelers are feeling the energy is this real shift but those of you who haven't done the work might be wondering what is going on you know my sleep is being interrupted or um you know i don't feel right my mood swings all over the place i'm feeling quite emotional right now you, your he eating habits might be changing um it's really time of, you know, if you need to rest, you rest, you sleep, you take care of your body right now. That's really important. Okay, thank you. And my guide was telling me to mention this. So the other card was the armadillo. And it says about set healthy boundaries. So it's very much that the soft squidginess inside of you, the vulnerable part of you, the sensitive side of you, your intuition, your psychic abilities. And the armadillo with the hard shell on the outside is about protecting your energy it's about saying no when you don't fill up to something not being pushed into doing activity or meeting individuals that you're really not up to doing um because what happens is you're also teaching them the healthy boundaries as well so it's not about you being selfish whatever you do is about being mirrored out reflected out to those around you right now so there are some people around you that will push you constantly and it's a bit by setting that healthy boundary it's also showing them demonstrating that they need to have a boundary as well for themselves it's teaching them thank you that's what they just said okay um i was just checking my automatic writing i did earlier and again it's just saying exactly what i just said here so a lot of you will okay thank you be coming on board in a sense i'll explain i've had a lot of people recently coming to me who are star seeds or we might call them indigo children whatever you want to call yourselves and um, that's sort of almost like the soul is being woken up at the moment like it feels okay thank you it feels almost as if that there's you don't belong or you're trying to find a place where you belong or you're not sure what you like anymore your habits have changed uh, life isn't as fulfilling as it was before um, it seems to be like as if there was a massive switch of this energy that's been placed upon this planet. Thank you. Um, and the more that more of you are becoming aware of, uh, again, there is more to life than what you see. OK, thank you. And they said oh, and all the near death experience videos and everything else that's out there at the moment people are watching it so people are sort of waking up it's sort of this energy that's firing up inside you thank you they said it's a bit like um if you listen to a song a favorite song or a favorite tune and how you feel internally within you and it rises up inside of you and you, you feel like you're expanding this is what's happening so everything that you like you are expanding now if you're not doing things that you like you're it, find it more tricky to expand so Okay, thank you. They just said, so <laughs> they said, you know, if you're having a difficult time, find a tune, find a song or find something that makes you feel happy. It may be nature. It may be animals. It may be a tune that you hear on the radio. It may be something that you can just put on and you can feel it rising up inside your body. Now that shows you like your energy is shifting. It shows you when you're going for that particular moment your energy shifting you feel like you're you know coming online you're connecting with others and the more that you do this that you become aware of how your energy shifts from feeling quite down low 
and maybe depressed maybe maybe just a blue mood or not feeling yourself and you listen to that music and then your energy rises it's very similar to what's going on on the planet right now so the more that you're tuning in to like-minded people you're connecting to people who like similar things to yourself you're gonna come together it's going to be like a magnet and it's going to make you feel uh okay thank you they said safer i always double check the word in what they use but they're saying safer supported um being around people that understand you and so that's what that's happening at the moment on the planet so you'll feel that okay thank you um i had i know they mentioned in dreams i had a situation um a couple of um, days ago maybe a week or so ago when i woke up about three o'clock in the morning and i was like wow i felt someone was in my room it was just the energy of somebody who was thinking of me so then they started talking to me my guides about dreams and they're talking about the energy of individuals so we are <laughs> thank you they're using the word i don't think i'll be like slip streaming slip streaming we're moving in and out slip streaming with each other's dreams um energy streams they said um okay thank you um even when you're walking past individual people they have a slipstream of energy so however they are feeling you might pick up on their moods those who are empathic intuitive um i've said this to the group before um some of those who've joined me on the retreats that you know if you go onto public transport you sit in a seat to wipe the seat down as if you've got pretend there's dust on there because there's the energy of the other person that's left behind you sit in it you can end up feeling that you were happy before you sat in it you sit down and you feel really tired or drained or whatever okay thank you um so they said to be mindful of your own energy right now to be mindful of what makes you feel happy it's going to be very important and especially as the energy is turning again on the planet so every time there's more and more people that are coming on board People are becoming aware of energy. They're looking at psychic abilities or mediumship or uh, tuning in more to crystals or whatever. Um, is Then it changes the environment on the planet. It just changes it slightly, okay? So it is having an effect upon the planet, which is a good thing, but it's just, uh, it can be for those of us that are at different stages of our development, you're going to feel it like, woof. You're going to be swept off your feet sometimes. So, and the tiredness, they said, is because there's more energy information coming forward and coming down onto the planet. And your body, the skin, and everything is absorbing the information. So, you may be receiving it from uh, sound or the air in your environment or the light in your environment, but you're going to be feeling it. So, your body may be, I think, you having that feeling of feeling tired. Okay. Okay, thank you. They also, okay, thank you. They then turn around and start saying that um, also watch what you are eating um, because of whatever you are eating, whatever you're putting into your physical self, your energy is going to be reacting to that as well. So just be mindful of what you're eating, what you're drinking, your um, the people around you, how they make you feel, because that also will affect your energy too. And there's a big shift people are going to find I mean it's been building up for some time now but you're going to really feel that those individuals that do not connect with you do not click with you they will not feel the right people to be around and it's it's sort of saying okay I've learned what I needed to learn from those individuals now it's time for me to step back and to walk away from them okay thank you I'm just checking if there's anything else they want me to say um but they're just this is their sort of broadcast at the moment this is like their transmission of information okay and i'm just checking and they nope then someone said nope we're pretty done with that transmission i'm like okay thank you 